Hey, thank you for watching this week. You know, I want to talk to you about how to stop the struggle in your life. And not only that, how to open the door for God to begin moving in your life. You know, I get a lot of emails and, and prayer requests for all different types of things that people are going through. From struggling in finances, weight issues, anxiety, depression, hopelessness, things that so many of us face in our lives. And people are always asking me, what do I do? I've prayed about this over and over. Doesn't seem to be any changes taking place. What do I do? Terry, please pray. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about this whole month is stop the struggle. You know, there's a scripture that I really want you to remember. And it says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart, and I will enter his courts with praise. Now that's something that I just confess every day. Just while I'm driving to the gym, I just say it. Lord, I enter your gates with thanksgiving. I enter your courts with praise. The reason I want you to remember that scripture in particular is because praise and thanksgiving are actual gate openers. That's the way I like to think of them. They're gate openers that cause you to walk right into the presence of God. You know, that's what we all want. We want the presence of God because when the presence of God shows up, things begin to change. And that's what you're wanting, right? Change in your circumstances, change in your heart, your emotions, your marriage, your life, your body, whatever it is. But listen to this. The Bible actually says that God inhabits the praises of His people. God inhabits the praises of His people. Well, what does inhabits mean? Inhabits means He lives in, He dwells in, and He abides in the praises of His people. So, in other words, when you begin praising God, you have just invited the presence of God in your life. Just you, right there in your car, in your home, in your office, wherever you are. When you just start praising God, you have just invited His presence right there in your life. And what happens when the presence of God shows up? Well, the Bible says, in His presence is fullness of joy. So, if you're depressed, if you're miserable, if you're feeling all kinds of stress and anxiety, when you begin praising God, not only does God show up, but He brings joy. And then, Nehemiah 18, 8, 10 says, that the joy of the Lord gives you strength. So, God shows up, He brings joy, and joy gives you strength. Strength for what? to overcome whatever's trying to overcome you. So I think of it like this little mathematical equation, you know? <laughs> you start the whole thing. You open your mouth and praise God. God shows up, He brings joy, joy gives you strength. And that's what you need. You need strength to get through this thing in your life, whatever it is. You know, there may be those things that just seem ongoing. You know, sometimes we have times in our life where we're going through a rough time, we pray about it, and it gets fixed, it gets solved. Other things seem to just drag on year after year after year. I'm right there with you. But I want you to know, the biggest key that you have to open the gate, to open the door for God to begin moving in your life, it's what you do with your mouth. You have the power to change your situation based on what you do with your mouth. God has given you that weapon right here, right under your nose, <laughs> to just speak the praises of God out loud. And you know, you can hear a message like this and go, okay, thanks Terry, appreciate that. I'll do that. But I'm telling you, the Bible talks about the sacrifice of praise. That's just praising God when you don't feel like it. When it hurts, when you're depressed, when you're miserable, you make yourself praise God. And here's the key though. You're not praising God for what you're going through. You're praising God in what you're going through. You're praising Him because you believe He is more powerful than what you're going through. So you're just focusing all of your attention on Him rather than your problem. You know, I love the story in Chronicles about Jehoshaphat. And it said that when all these armies were coming against him and he was totally outnumbered, he didn't know what to do and he didn't have the strength to overcome it. But you know what he did? He actually sent the praisers out ahead of him. And the praisers, when they went out ahead and just began praising God right there on the battlefield, it said that their praises began to confuse the enemy. You know why? Because Satan is not counting on you praising God, especially at a time like this. He's expecting you to do what maybe you've done in the past. Get depressed, complain, pout, you know, mope around the house, call your friend, complain even more, keep magnifying how big this problem is rather than magnifying God. 
But when you turn it around and you do the opposite of what Satan is expecting, I mean, imagine, you just hear the worst news you could hear, your heart's broken, you feel like just bawling, you feel like just staying home from work, putting the covers over your head and just crying. But instead, you go in your kitchen and you make yourself lift your hands to heaven and you just start saying, Lord, I praise you and I thank you right now that your word says you will perfect which, that which concerns me. You know this concerns me, you know this is breaking my heart, but you said you would perfect it. Not only that, you said you're the healer of the brokenhearted, and I'm counting on you healing my broken heart. I thank you, Lord, that you're my healer. I thank you, Lord, that you never leave me nor forsake me. I worship you right now. I magnify you more than my problem. You begin voicing your praise to God like that, you have just entered his presence. You have just entered his courts with praise and, in, and right into his presence. And he's going to bring joy and he's going to bring strength for you to fight through this battle. And I'm telling you this, you are going to come out stronger on the other side of this than you ever were before. I preach from experience and I'm telling you, even though it hurts, even though it doesn't make sense to your mind, it works. Praise and thanksgiving are gate openers. They will enter you right into the presence of God and absolutely change your circumstances. So I want you to do it. No matter how bad it hurts, do it. Make yourself praise God for what he's about to do in your life. So my prayer for you is you stop the struggle. I want you to get this series on Stop the Struggle. Listen to it over and over again and it's gonna encourage you to give praise to God like you never have before. So thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time.